Today I'm going to be a police officer. Hmm. We have to train hard and catch the criminals. Let's practice. Wow! We practice to catch the criminals. And they go into that jail. Let's wait and see if we can catch any criminals. Jail. 
It's not like a restaurant. I'll get your food. I can't believe she thought this was a hotel. Help Granny tidy the house. <gasps> yes, 
I can do that every single week. Okay, well, it sounds like you've learned your lesson. Bye bye. Bye. Ah, she did learn a lesson. <laughs> okay, you are free to go. an investigator makes are the details of the setting. They are looking for anything out the ordinary in order to collect evidence. Are you wearing lipstick, Bonnie? <gasps> no. Somebody left kiss marks. That's our first clue. <gasps> we need to write it down. It's important for the investigator to write down their findings. <gasps> What's that? We look for more clues! The investigator carries special powders and brushes to give us the best chance of finding fingerprints in a crime scene. What will the detective find? on just about anything you come to contact with, like glasses, tables, and doors, etc. The oils and sweat in your hands create the print. So when there is a crime scene to solve, the investigator should be able to identify the print and trace it back to whoever left it. Let's see if there's more clues inside. like close up under a microscope. 
Hair samples are one of the most important resources in forensics of crime because they identify the suspect. Let's run a DNA match!